Hello everybody, I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Player Spider-1 and welcome you back to Let's Play Fallout and that is Snake Lyrian. Oh guys. Last we left off, we made it to Boneyard and Editon and we lost uh, Dogmeat. Which is a shame because Dogmeat is cool and everything but he's gone now so we are out without a companion on this quest now. To save the world or whatever. So let's... Take a look around because there's a lot of me people to meet. If it, you might be wondering why I'm so flubby and everything, I'm tired. Here's a here's a tip for no time to talk. Yeah, I know, whatever. Um, here's a tip to everybody who wants to make let's play videos: don't stay up late, especially watching uh, live streams. I know there's an, there's extra life uh, live streams going on right now, and I and I watched the, some of them, and I stayed up really late, and I also woke up quite early. So yeah, I'm a bit tired, and not just even a bit. I'm dead tired, and I had forgotten that I hadn't done a video for today on Fallout. So here I am making the video. And let's see how far I can go with before I actually collapse from sleepiness. So let's see who we have here. See a dark-skinned man adorned with bright scarves and trinkets. Didn't think that anybody would have bright scarves and trinkets in this time of uh, year. Or in a world too. Hello, stranger. May I be of service? I'm getting to know the people of Aditum. I'm called Chuck. Really, Chuck. Welcome to Aditum. I'm afraid the most of the people here are too forthcoming witness strangers, though. Yeah, I noticed. The people of Aditum have much to do in the normal day. They do not want their work to be found wanting the end of the day. Things do seem a little quiet around here. The regulators make sure of that. The people of Aditum sometimes suffer because of their strict rules. And you're okay with this? Since I wish to stay here, I accept the regulators as part of that which is Aditum. However, I do what I can to lighten their lives. Is there anything... Uh, let's see. You do not seem to agree with what they do. The regulators protect their own interests and I must respect them. I don't necessarily agree with that view, but can understand it. So apparently, the gypsy fortune teller. So now the game pretty much tells you what Chuck is. Yeah, he's a gypsy fortune teller. So regulators uh, regulate the whole place by their own rules. Something fishy is going around here, apparently. At least from the sound of it. Can I help you? May I ask what you do around here? I'm a farmer. I also like to do a little bit of work on the buildings, restoring them and keeping them intact. And sometimes I give advice. What kind of advice? Chuck pulls out a set of tarot cards. Let me consult the cards. Chuck shuffles the cards. Chuck pulls a, out a card with a picture of a man with a vibro blade and a flag. New kind of tarot cards, apparently. The Prince of Swords in the North. You must face a powerful foe far to the North. Hmm. Thanks for the advice. Good journeys, Wanderer. So pretty much what Chuck uh, here actually tells you, he will actually really tell you the fortune of the game. Well, not really the fortune of the game, but he will actually tell you plot points of the game that you haven't haven't yet done. So like he says, we will have to go to north and we will face a powerful foe there. So that is true. Everything he tells is true. So let's get some little more advice. Picture of a radio tower and a card with a picture of a man in a suit with a scepter. The tower and the emperor. Great change awaits by the hands of a powerful leader. Whether that change is death, I cannot tell. Hmm, thanks for the advice. So pretty much there's something going on, somebody trying to lead others. And he's not really sure if it's good or bad. I got a bad feeling about that myself. So let's see what else he says. 
A card with a picture of a man dancing on a nuclear warhead. The fool. I cannot help you. You must make your own way in the world. So pretty much uh, he just tells us good two good uh, points of the game. And then just tells us to go make our own fate. That's pretty much what it is. We are watching you. Well, I'm gonna be watching you too, lady. Are you gonna watch me take this crowbar? See, I cannot even take the crowbar because I'm too full. Now, could you please get out of the doorway? Thank you. Yeah, well, watch anything I want. We better find ourselves a merchant here because I really, really need to get rid of some of the stuff that we're carrying right now. And also need more strength. Don't oh, worry, we'll get to that eventually. But for now, let's go down here. It's a cheery man with a close cropped hair. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you today? My name's Snake Logan. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Tyne. I'd like to do some trading. So Tyne, Tyne is pretty much the trader down here. He really doesn't have anything at all. <sighs> Can't really get rid of anything then. Because all of these cost a lot. See? He's got no money. How about that? How about these? Yeah, I'll take those. Really, really lightening up my load here. Let's talk to him some more. Can I ask you about the hop merchants? I do some trading with them from time to time. Mostly I sell bullets in exchange for food. What's your take on Adatum? Hey there, bad little town. Zimmerman's a fair man, maybe not the brightest guy. And of course, we've got Miles, uh, probably the only man in 100 miles who knows anything about science. Nothing. Keep in touch. No, we won't. Because Tyne is really the game's worst merchant. At least that's what I think. Maybe somebody might think that hey, he's not that bad. Did you see what he doesn't have? Yeah, anything. Well, let's go talk to this guy. He looks like he knows what he's doing. A large, muscular man. <clears throat> hey, I'm a large, muscular man too. You're not that muscular. Why not? Because your strength is only six. Damn it. Good day. Eh? What can I do for you? May I ask your name? Why, everyone just calls me Smitty. Probably because I'm the logo blacksmith. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Where did you get all your shop equipment? Well, any competent blacksmith can make his own anvil. Of course, I really just sort of learned the graph by practice, but I made most of my own tools. Well, what all do you make here? Mostly I make and repair tools and implements here. I also fix the, uh, for the hop merchants. With the help of Miles, the chemist, I reload bullets from time to time. Can you make guns and bullets? Well, building guns and making shells takes machining, and I just don't have the tools for that. But with the help of Miles, the chemist, I can reload all brass since I can cast bullets. Nothing else? Thanks. Sure. Well, actually, there is more, so let's talk to him. I'd like to buy something. I'd recommend you go to Tyne's store, just to, just to one side of the gates. I don't actually sell anything here. I traded the Tyne or the Hop Merchants for goods. Nothing, thanks. See you around. Sure. So yeah, he's not a merchant, he's a blacksmith. But what he will do eventually is he will actually upgrade some of your stuff once you bring them to him. It will require some uh, adventuring to do. Well, let's talk to him. You see a thin man in a white smock. I don't believe we met. I'm Miles. What can I do for you? That smock makes you look like a scientist. What are you studying? I'm a chemist. Mostly I make primer and powder so that we can reuse the brass casings from bullets. But I also double dabble with some other chemicals. Where do you get the sulfur, potassium, nitrate and other chemicals? It is unusual to find someone who can appreciate chemistry. But to answer your question, some of the materials we get from hop merchants, others I manufacture or just find in the area. For instance, the dung heaps from the Brahmin are a good source, as well as some of strains of fungus that I cultivate. What other chemicals do you work with? Oh, I'll be trying to get some strong acids so that Smitty can use them for etching. I also have been trying to get, make some permanent dyes and inks. But without access to natural inks, it's difficult. So you make bullets for Adatum? 
Yes, although Smitty is the one who actually casts the bullets, I just revealed the brass casings. The Lumberjers make a profit off of you and the town. Yes, well, we have to make a living. Since the hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we have to buy food from the merchants, and bullets are the only thing we have to sell. I could try to get the parts for it to fix the hydroponic farms. Really? That would be wonderful. We're just missing a few parts, but I'm sure that if you could scrounge up the right pieces, we should we could be self-sufficient. Some AL might be able to give you some help. All right. We actually have a quest to do here, and uh, the Samael he's talking about, remember the scavenger leader that we heard about last time? The grungy man in the dark blue clothes. Hey, I don't believe we met. You are... I'm Snake Logan. The pleasure's mine. I'm called Samael. What do you do here? I'm a scav. No, not scavenger. My job is to search out all, the, all of the um, boneyards for useful items and in information. The dangerous work. Why is it dangerous? Well, you got the death calls out there, and then you got the regulators back here in Aditum. Well, they ain't the most forgiving times. How do you avoid the death claws? We only work at night, and we, we're we good at what we do. But I'll admit to everyone always comes back. I sent the guy out last week. No, not everyone always comes back. I sent the guy out last week to look for some parts for Miles, and we haven't heard from him since. The last transmission I got from him was that he found the parts and was on his way back. So now we know when, where the parts for the hydroponic farms has gone. They're with the guy who was supposed to be coming back. So yeah, we can actually go search for the dude, which is exactly what I am going to do. We're going to go and find him. I really do need a merchant. The boneyard is not really the best place to go for any kind of uh, shopping or selling because really the only merchant that you have in this area is Tyne and as you have seen Tyne is not good for that so we say goodbye to our caravan leader the signs of gang activity are evident in the partially rebuilt nightclub and tiny outposts here as you can see they pretty much tried to rebuild this place blades razors Advertise a blades brand razor blades. You can see where the blades got their name from. Pretty much just saw that sign and thought, well, that make a cool, that make a cool gang name. Well, it really does, but still, not much originality there. Uh, it's 11:34 in the game. So what we can do? There aren't any merchants here, and also this is really this is the Blades the territory and Zimmerman wants me to kill the uh, leader. Or at least he said that I should go get the leader. Let's see if I actually have any missions. Fix the hypro hydroponic farms. That we can do, although it's not gonna be easy, especially since Naked here is alone now. <laughs> Damn dog meat, why? That was really bad acting. I know you did it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we do here is go sneaky, 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 because this place is really, 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 stop it. <clears throat> really dangerous. So what we're gonna do is get some weapons out, especially the shotgun, because that works best. As you remember, Samael uh, reminded us that there are some the movie poster for a horror film from pre-war days. That actually is uh, a um, poster, but not really a poster, but a uh, screenshot. Not a, even a screenshot. <sighs> I can't talk today. I told you, I'm tired. But it is a thing for a thing. I think it's a thing for the thing and that is a thing called the Ripper. Just look it up. It's in the pop cultures in the Fallout 2 wikia. <laughs> but it is a... Not a poster, but the uh, title screen or the uh, CD box cover or whatever for a game called The Ripper. At least I that's what I remember. I could be wrong because I'm tired. And you may have seen the Deathclaw. That is why we are sneaking. Because it is not alone. 
yeah, there's two Deathclaws here. They're only cubs, but even Deathclaw children are very dangerous to defeat on your own. Ugh. Can we actually get those? Because I sold stuff. Thank you. I'm gonna leave the whiskey there because I don't need it. We don't need to be drunk. There's nothing there. And as you see the body there, that's the guy who was trying to get back and who has the uh, parts for the farms. Since those... Since the uh, death claws are pretty far away, I can actually sneak up to the body and grab it. Yes, we got it. Damn it. Of course, we have too much stuff. It does weigh a lot. Now, nope. How about now? Yes. Can we get anything back? Actually, I have an idea. Because we are here, and I am going to come back this way. Let us try to sneak past this. Newspaper machine is empty. Too bad. I would have liked to see some ancient new uh, news headlines. Like I was talking, since we're here, let's sneak past this death claw into this new area because that is a good area to go to. <sighs> you can see a warehouse to the north with a moat, moat of glowing goo around it. Yeah, a moat of glow, glowing goo. It looks as if this person died very painfully. Well, poisonous radiation, yeah, that kind of thing kills you very painfully. So let's talk to the guard. What is your pistols here? I want to buy some weapons. Oh, very good. Customers are always welcome. Come in, but please keep your weapons holstered. Go find Zack. He can set you up with anything you need. Awesome. So if you remember, people might have talked about, uh, I already talked to some people, and they mentioned gun regulators, or gun runners. This is it. As you can see, it's labeled gun runners. These are the best merchants in the game. They have heavy weaponry of all sorts. Even, as you can see, this guy is even carrying a big gun. There's a rocket launcher on that guy. These guys are pistols and everything. Hi, I'm Zack. You want to buy weapons? Let me see what you had to trade. Okay. You can ask for a discount, but they won't give you one right now. That's for later. But as you can see, they have weaponry of all sorts. Even a freaking plasma rifle and a flamer, minigun, plasma pistol. Uh, that's a uh, pulse grenade. Small energy cell, fusion cells. Uh, even a cow prod, power fist, combat shotgun, blah blah blah, combat armor, which we already have, a ripper, awesome, that is an awesome melee weapon, the ripper. I think in this game it's the best one. It uses, it uses small energy cells, and it's just a really is a knife-shaped bone saw, you could say. It really, it's called the ripper for a reason, it really cuts the flesh. And the other really good uh, melee weapon is the cattle prod, because it's an electric weapon, uses some small energy cells. So they really don't have anything that I really need, because we pretty much got everything that we can have as best weaponry for the game. So let, at least let's get rid of these, because they weigh a lot. And so these, and actually, not those, the hunting rifle is the heaviest. Those. Give that. Combat knife. I'm gonna be leaving some in my pockets. Some stuff, I mean. Because I'm really not gonna be able to give them everything that I have. Now that goes over. So let's take something back. Uh, that'll do. Uh, that'll do. They didn't have any uh, 
stim packs, did they? That's a that's always been a problem with the gun runners. They don't have any healing items. And also, if you get minigun, there's some five millimeter for you. A lot of it. So if you use heavy, and also this is a plasma grenade, in, yeah, that's a frag grenade. You can know the difference in damage in there. I don't really need any bullets because I'm pretty stacked up. So let's grab almost all their money. There. Offer. I got 14,441. It's a pallet drum. Alright. We got rid of some stuff. And now we don't weigh that much. Hey. Well, we are not carrying that much. That's better. So. Now that we got that done. Let us head back. Back to this area. Also, don't forget to... Don't forget to rearm yourself. Or save the game before you go here. Keep on sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I always say that, that you start at right that spot where you where we were. Because uh, the death clause can be right there. It weighs 12 pounds. No wonder we couldn't get it. 12 pounds of junk. Well, when you look at it, it's just a pile of junk. It even says that it's just a pile of junk. But according to the game, those are the parts that you need. For the hydroponic farms. Don't ask me. I didn't make the game. So let us mosey along. Back to Miles. And give him what he wants. Always take weapons away when you go back to residential areas because people hate you having weapons around. Some might even actually attack you on sight. That had ha that has happened, especially here. If you go back to Aditum and you have weapons out, they might start shooting at you right away. So be careful about that. Even if you have a power fist or spike knuckles, they might fire at you because they they did they are considered weapons. Just put them into your inventory and you'll be safe. <coughs> so, hello, Miles. We're back. Have you found the parts yet? Yes, here they are. Miles looks over the parts. Those are them, but it looks like Smitty is going to have a, do a little work on them. Can you take them over to him? Sure, I'll be back after he's fixed them. So, like I, we, like I said, it was just junk. I better get some work on it. Good thing they have a blacksmith to do this. Good day. What can I do for you? I need you to fix these parts for me so that I can fix your hydroponic farms. Yes, I can fix this. Give me some time. Here you are. Smitty hands you the fixed parts. I wonder how long it took him. Only an hour. Damn, he works fast. But then again, he said he had he makes his own tools, so it's no wonder. Fixed parts, yay! Still looks like a pile of junk. Of course. Hello, Miles. Miles takes the fixed parts from you. Looks like Smitty did a great job on these. Thanks for the help. And here's some stuff for your trouble. Miles sends you some caps and some stim packs. If you ever get back this way, you might want to look me and spin Smitty up. We might be able to help you out with some adjustments to your some of your equipment. Smitty can work wonders with certain weapons and I can help you out with some sort certain sorts of armor. Awesome! Nothing I do with that type of armor. Sorry. Bummer. I think what he can work with is the power armor, possibly the metal armor? And maybe the leather armor. But don't take my word for it. I know for sure he can work with the uh, power armor. But the other is not too sure about it. And as for Smitty... Thanks for fixing the farms. If you ever find yourself a plasma rifle, bring it on back here. I know a few tricks that I can pull with the injectors. 
So he straight up tells you what kind of weapon he wants you to bring him so he can fix it up. A plasma rifle. Uh, not useful for us because we don't use energy weapons at all. Which will be fun to use. Uh, I know, plasma... Melee, um, energy weapons are the best weapons in the game. They hurt a lot. They just... They just are awesome. That's all. But I think that's it for now. Like I said, I'm really tired, and I wanna. This video is long enough. At least I think it's long enough. So next time we're gonna go back into the blaze area and actually talk to the blades, and uh, also possibly do some other stuff. So we'll see about that. So until then, I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye. Take care, you all. Have a nice day.